Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to cover day three in Sepang. So you will notice Jack Miller is at the track and is ready to go for the weekend's test. Now today's testing was topped by Maverick again but you will also notice here that Alex Spagaro was also on track today and the reason he is on track today is Aprilia still have concessions so they can run what they like. Now after Alex, Raul Fernandez was up next, again only half a second slower than Maverick which is really really impressive. Marco Basecki was again 7 tenths of a second which is an improvement in where he was yesterday uh, behind uh, Maverick Vinales. But what I most noted out of this was that he was ahead of Michele Piro. Now, Michele Piro is really testing as much as he can. He is back-to-back -back testing the 2021 bike versus the 2022 bike. So I'm not quite sure what bike he was using today. Um, but I do know that he is being an absolute soldier in the tests. Remy Gardner was up then next, uh, just 1.1 seconds slower than Maverick Vinales, which is still quite good. Now, he was very positive after yesterday's test saying that you know the wrist is getting more comfortable on the bike Bradle was up next then again 1.5 no major improvement from yesterday's um time but again you know he is definitely putting it through its paces ahead of the weekend Sylvan Gontoli was out for Suzuki which is great to see Suzuki out again I think it's one of the most prettiest bikes color wise that is there um, and I'm sure it is going to be a good foundation 1.5 seconds off which is not very far at all Darren Binder was up next on the Yamaha. Now he was about two seconds off, I think 1.9 seconds away from where Maverick was. He is improving and he's getting more and more comfortable on the bike. Remember, coming up from Moto3 to MotoGP is one hell of a step. Mika Calio was out then as well on the KTM. And you know, it's really kind of telling that the two rookies are very, very far ahead of Mika Calio on the KTM. Mika Calio was 2.1 seconds off Maverick's time, which is quite a, a sizable gap. Cal Cotro was back on the Yamaha today. Now he has signed a contract um, for 22 and 23 as test rider. Yamaha were about 2.8 seconds off from our test one and two teams. Um, and uh, Tasuda for Suzuki was about 3.7 seconds off, which is quite a lot. In, in terms, I'm not sure what bike he was testing, but again, it is a, it is a sizable um, chunk of time to be, to be missing. So that's it for the, the test this week. You know, I think we've got some good insights, especially into the rookies on how they're going to go and the kind of little pecking order there that's coming out, which is good. Um, but again, you know, the real action starts over the weekend. You know, there's gonna be a lot more bikes, a lot more rubber on the ground, so I think, you know, someone is going to put in a hot lap. I don't think it's going to be any of the the front running teams. I think they're going to save a lot of their pace uh, for Qatar. I do know that Ducati have said that they have a brand new engine with a lot more horsepower. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with that um, on the testing. I don't think they're going to fully show it until maybe the next test, but we'll wait and see. I'm going to wrap it up there today and uh, we'll see you in tomorrow's I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.